It was a nice surprise when I came home to Geek and Gorgeous news releases, the Happier Barrier 10% Squalane plus Lipids Moisturizer and the Hydration Station 6% Glycerin plus Ectoin Gel Cream. These are the first moisturizers in the lineup, meaning that if they are any good, we'll see that in a minute, you can now build a whole routine using only Geek and Gorgeous products. Only thing missing is sunscreen. As you can probably tell by the name, Hydration Station Gel Cream is aimed at normal to oily skin, while the Happier Barrier Moisturizer is for normal to dry skins. Good thing it is cold enough outside right now, so I can fully appreciate the richer version. Let's look at how I got on with either of them. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Happier Barrier is a nourishing yet lightweight moisturizer with squalane, skin identical lipids, and green tea polyphenols for healthy skin barrier and silky soft skin. Hydration Station is a light and refreshing gel cream with hydrating gold standard, glycerin, and skin protecting superstar Ectoine for dewy, plump, and healthy skin. The first thing you'll notice is that Happier Barrier has a peachy color when it comes out of the tube. It also feels a little firmer, but is still light enough to spread easily. Hydration Station is white and feels even lighter, almost like a gel formula. Both have no immediately noticeable scent, but if you go real close to stiff, you get a whiff of something a little earthy. Probably the ingredients as the products are fragrance free. Well, you probably don't need me to tell you when to use a moisturizer. It is the last step before sunscreen in the mornings and the last step in your routine at night. People with more oily skin using hydrating sunscreen will get away with not using any moisturizer when it's warmer, which is what I usually do. So during the year, I would use hydration station at night from around May to September and then switch it in the mornings and use happier barrier at night for the rest of the year. The only exception is that I prefer to use a more occlusive moisturizer on my tretinoin nights year round. I use it as a barrier moisturizer and then tretinoin to prevent irritation and for that the happier barrier version is what I reach for but one after the other. Both spread easily and sink in quickly but the happier barrier version it feels more substantial on the skin if you know what I mean. What I enjoy a lot is the fact that both have a very natural finish and do not add additional glow. Before and after application my skin looks exactly the same. Neither of them is prone to pilling either or leaves the skin tacky, probably because of the lack of hyaluronic acid. Let's look at hydration stations first. It uses glycerin as main humectant, has no hyaluronic acid, which is rare, and combines that glycerin with a complex made from xylitol glucoside, anhydroxylitol, and xylitol that, according to the manufacturer, helps to increase the water binding capacities of the skin and strengthen the skin's barrier. I'm not sure by which mechanism it does the latter, but as xylitol is a sugar that works as humectant, it will surely increase water in the skin. It also acts as a probiotic. The isozobidit caprylate is also supposed to increase glycerin efficiency by increasing aquaporin-3, through which glycerin is transported into the cell. In addition to that, we have alantoin and bisabolol for soothing, and the actoin, which is an antioxidant I talked about a few videos back. I actually said I need to look into it as it was apparently getting in popularity and here it is again. Maybe a sign to put it on my video list next. The formula is basically focused on hydration and nothing else like this name would suggest and unlike other gel formulas, silicone free, which might be interesting to those with an allergy but also in need for a lightweight cream. Now happier barrier. Again you will find glycerin as main humectant but paired with ingredients with emollient and occlusive properties like Squalane, part of human sebum, a mixture between jojoba, macadamia, and olive oil derived lipid esters, and ceramide NG. These three mimic the natural lipid composition we'll find in healthy skin, which is probably where the barrier repair claim stems from. As an antioxidant, there is no ectoine but Camellia sinensis leaf extract with green tea polyphenols, and just like in Hydration Station, you will find Alantoin and Bisabolol for soothing. Compared to Hydration Station, this one has the focus more on reducing the transepidermal water loss due to a lack of lipids rather than on drawing moisture into the skin. I enjoy both moisturizers, enough to consider repurchasing them eventually, but out of the two, Happier Barrier is my favorite, simply because there are so many amazing gel moisturizers already. If you someone that prefers the skin to not look or feel like skincare though, like my husband, these two are the ones that you should definitely check out. Depending on your skin type, you might prefer one over the other, but if your skin isn't extremely oily or extremely dry, you can definitely make both of them work. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. 
I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.